Hey there guys, this is Robert. So this is actually going to be my uh, PlayStation 2 2015 collection. Um, so, so far, this is what I have. So for the first game I have here in my collection, this is Ace Combat 4, uh, Shattered Skies. Um, this game came out in 2001. This was an, this is an absolutely phenomenal game. Um, very, very easy to pick up anywhere now. It's probably less than five bucks now. It's a really, really good game. They have so many copies of it out there, but it is, it is such, it's a must have for the PS2. Um, really, really good story. This kind of brought Ace, this is what brought Ace Combat uh, into the PlayStation 2 realm. Really, really good. This is where uh, PlayStation 2 is where Ace Combat kind of like shined. It was a pretty good uh, game series for the PS2. Next one we have Big Surprise. Um, oops. <laughs> God. Can we just like cut that out and I'll just start from here? It doesn't matter if you drop it. Yeah. <laughs> just, ed just edit it. Alright. The next game we got here is uh, Ace Combat 5 The Young Sung War. Um, so this game came out in 2004. This was the next sequel to Ace Combat 4. This right here is um, probably one of the top five of my favorite games of all time. Storyline was absolutely phenomenal. Um, this game was absolutely incredible. Graphics were great. That actually had an amazing story. The All the jets and the planes, they looked just absolutely stunning and amazing. The gra like I said, it was just such an amazing game. This is definitely a five-star game of all time for me. It's kind of crazy to believe this is now 11 years old. <laughs> Uh, next one we got here is Ace Combat Zero. So this game is from 2006. This was the sequel to Ace Combat Five. Um, this one was a really, really good game. This is probably one of this was the last good one that they probably made. Um, so this right here, this game was it almost was it was a setback. It was kind of cool. You actually went back to the year 1995 and you got to fly with this guy that was a wingman. And I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but it was an amazing story. And this was one of the first Ace Combats that I actually was able to beat in a shorter amount of time. Really, really good game. Uh, it's really, really hard to find and getting very expensive. So if you can find it in any of your uh, local game stores, definitely pick it up while you can. <coughs> Excuse me. So next game I have here is uh, Need for Speed Underground. Um, these games were pretty good. Um, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say these are like my favorite Need for Speeds ever, but they, they were definitely pretty good for the PS2. So this is the first one here. Uh, this one right here is from 2003. Really, really good game. Um, like I said, though, it's not one of my absolute favorites, but it's definitely good to have. Uh, next game I have in my list is the very first Kill Zone. Um, this game was really, really nice looking for the PS2 back in the day. This game is from 2004. Um, one thing that I uh, noticed with this one versus the next two in the series was this one you actually didn't aim down the sights. Um, it was actually still very, very fun to play and the story was amazing. This is actually a, definitely a must have for the PS2. And you guys can, uh, if you can find anywhere, you can get it pretty cheap. I got this one here for $5 at a local game store. So definitely pick that one up like can. It actually used to have online on it, so that was a pretty good game. Uh, next game we have right here is it's pretty common, but it's a good game. is Call of Duty 2, uh, Big Red 1. So this game was um, a huge improvement over Call of Duty, the first one. Um, there's some multiplayer features to it. This one actually had online, which was uh, pretty new for that. This is what really got Call of Duty to start online with everything. Really, really good game. Uh, next game we have in my collection is actually another really good flying game that I love. This is actually Heat Seeker for the PlayStation 2. Um, this game came out in 2006. It's actually not a very well-known one, but if you guys can find this anywhere, it's, it is pretty hard to find, but if you guys can find this anywhere, this game is definitely worth picking up. Very, very good story. It was a very fast-paced, just absolutely phenomenal game. Uh, the next one I have here, this one's actually getting very, very hard to find these days. This is actually Lethal Skies. This game is actually from uh, 2001. This game is absolutely incredible. It looked really, really good. I liked how um, everything flew in the com the uh, customization you could do. I will say that uh, the voice acting and stuff was very, very annoying. <laughs> but uh, there's some aspects that were good, some that were bad. But this was actually a really, really fun title to have. If you can find it, definitely pick it up because it's definitely getting rare. Um, next game I have in my collection here is Atari Ethology. Um, I actually haven't played this one yet. I'm actually saving it for another video that's going to be coming up we're going to be doing. So this right here has 85 of the classic games for the Atari 2600. I'm really excited for this. As, I mean, of course, it's got to be a great game if it's got a holographic case, right? <laughs> so definitely looking forward to that one. Um, we also here got Activision Mythology. So this game right here is going to have 80-plus uh, games um, from you know the 1980s uh, arcades and the 2600 and stuff like that. I think there's also some 5200 games on here, so that'll be really fun to play. We're going to do a video on this one, too. Uh, next one we got here, this was actually a really fun game for me. A lot of people didn't like it, but I actually thought it was pretty fun. This right here is Sega, uh, Sega Superstars Tennis. Um, this game is actually a lot of fun to play. you think it'd be really, really weird playing as like Sega characters playing tennis, but it's actually a really fun, addicting game. And 
when I played this with Damon back when I was younger, uh, you know, he was like, oh, this is going to be garbage, but he actually had fun with it too, so I like this game a lot. This is right here. This was a really cool game that came out. Uh, this is one of my favorite games. This is the Sega Genesis Collection for the PS2. Um, before the PS3 game, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection came out, this was the best way to play some of your old titles on the newer consoles. Really, really great game. Um, this one right here is not one of my favorites of the Sonic series. It's it's kind of bland, but this one's Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, this one was kind of weird. It was kind of weird to see a Sonic character saying words like hell and damn it and stuff like that. And then shooting things. And he actually ends up, uh, well actually I can't spoil that for you. Let's just say it was kind of weird. But it, it's okay, but it's definitely not worth paying more than a couple bucks for. Next one I have here, this one's actually a little bit harder to find now, especially for the PS2. This is actually Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. This was actually the sequel to the first one. This is actually a really, really good game. This came out in 2008. Uh, this is kind of at the end of the PS2's life. Uh, well, the heydays of it anyway. This game was actually really, really fun to play, really incredible. There's all kinds of customization you could do. It was really good looking. Really, really liked it. It was a great sequel. Um, kind of backwards here, but the next game I have is Original Sonic Riders. When this game came out, I was very, very skeptical. When I played it, though, it was so much fun. If you guys find this, definitely pick this up. I, I, I can't tell you any more than that. It's a very fun, addicting game. Um, this game came out in 2006 on Sonic's 15th anniversary, so it is a really, really good game. You can pick it up almost on any platform. Um, the next one I have here, it actually it kind of symbolized the start of when Sonic games started getting kind of crappy. Uh, this is Sonic's, Sonic Heroes, and the, the weird thing about this game was he actually used three characters at a time, and each one had different abilities. It was it was okay. It was it was good for the time, but it's definitely something that's a little hard to play sometimes. There's a lot of glitches in it, too. Uh, this one right here is actually a really fun game. One of my favorite games, actually. This is Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Really, really like this game. It's got an awesome uh, compilation of a lot of Sonic's classic games, all the, all the classic ones you guys know. It's got all kinds of Game Gear games and stuff like that in there that you can play, and you can play it on your PS2. Really, really good game to have. If you find this, definitely pick it up. You'll love it. Next one I have, this is definitely a, definitely a, uh, one that you need to get, is Namco Museum. If you love playing like Pac-Man and, and uh, you know, Pole Position and stuff like that, Galaga, all the games around there was kind of cool. Is, uh, this game came out in 2002, but they actually added like all kinds of reboots of it. Really, really good game to get, and you can get it for a couple bucks now, actually. Definitely pick this up, one up if you can. Next one I have here is probably my number one favorite Need for Speed of all time. This is Need for Speed Most Wanted from 2005. This game right here is really what brought Need for Speed into its heyday at the time. Really, really good game. Um, the the thing is though is the actual the Xbox 360 edition was actually better than this one. PS2 one's good. It's um, not as nice graphically, but it's a very good game. Um, of course, the acting and all the storytelling was extremely cheesy, but the driving and the cars and all the customization you could do was incredible. And this game and Need for Speed Carbon were the ones that really got Need for Speed in its heyday. So this is an amazing game. Definitely pick this up. You can find it. It's getting hard to. Um, last one I got here for the PS2 is going to be Need for Speed Underground 2. Um, like I said, the Underground series aren't my absolute favorite, but Underground 2 is definitely better than 1. It's got quite a bit more customization you could do. Um, a little bit longer story. It was, it was a good game, but it's it's definitely not on my top favorite Need for Speeds, but it's a really good game. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This was my PS2 collection for 2015, and stay tuned for further videos. It's a really good game. Um, you can see I picked it up from our local game store. Uh, still have the book and everything. Very good game. Couldn't get enough of that. Um, the next one is Jack X. It is a racing game um, slash combat, kind of a twisted metal style. Um, I played tons of this as well and love this game so much. Couldn't get enough of that, especially with friends. Um, this is where the Star Wars starts. I have Star Wars Battlefront, the first one. He's falling out. The clips fell off. Um, yeah, this is a this is an amazing game. I couldn't get enough of this. Just shooting everything up and 